dear Geoffrey, how happy I was to learn that you have applied to enroll in my mum's class this year. I just know you will love our Wednesday visits and all the little friends you'll make, all the wonderful and interesting things you'll do and learn. So be sure to remember our first meeting. Wednesday, the 1st of October. Shh! <sighs> Ding dong, come in. Chur. Master Jeffrey, thank you so much for coming. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Yes? Your... Master Jeffrey Hatcher. You're welcome. Oh. You're welcome. Bravo. 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 What? Pardon, what? Mommy? Mommy can't help you now. <laughs> one must always give flowers when courting a lady. When standing in an elevator, one must face forward and move to the corner in the presence of additional occupants. And one must never, ever, suck, suck up to a duo judge. <laughs> Mrs. Mannerly. By Jeffrey Hatcher. Shh. I have this recurring dream. Most people have recurring dreams about being in the battle without a gun or taking a test and you haven't studied or being in a play and you don't know your lines. My dream is about a manners class. The woman's name was Helen Anderson Kurt, but she was known as Mrs. Mannerly. Shh! What? You said what? One should never say what when one hasn't heard what was said or doesn't understand what was said or just needs time to answer difficult questions. One says, I beg your pardon? I beg your pardon? Good. Now you owe me a quarter. What? Now you owe me another quarter. Any student that says what instead of, I, I beg, beg your pardon? pardon, must put a quarter in my jar. But I don't have a quarter. Then you can start a tab. Ugh. I beg your pardon? Nothing. Good. Now remember, what happens in this class stays in this class until the final test, of course. Test? Yes. At the end of our eight-week session, the whole class goes to the local chapter of the Dolls of the American Revolution and presents a program for the members. Each test is based on a 100-point system. Any mistake is a deduction from that. Or else. So, when do we start? Well, I haven't accepted you yet. I have to decide whether or not to admit you. Did you bring a check? Oh, yes! Great, you're admitted! Welcome to Mrs. Manley's School of Manners. Shh! And thus it began. My first class. Shh! Class, this is our newest student, Master Jeffrey Hatcher. Say hello. Hello, Master Jeffrey. I am Chucky Thompson. It's good to see you. Ralph! Oh, hello, Master Jeffrey. <laughs> I am Ralph. Next to Chucky, I look like a black guy. <laughs> then we have the ladies. Kim McCowan. Hi, I'm like Kim McCowan, like... I hate you. And that's Jamie Hauser. What? <laughs> now the wonderful thing about an even number of boys and girls in a class such as ours is, wait, Mrs. Mannerly, there's like five of us? That's like not an even number. Kim, I warned you about interrupting. You're expelled, but- Expelled! Yeah. But Mrs. Mannerly- Class dismissed. Shh. So, we had started out with a class of five, and now we are a class of four. Shh. Now, one of the most sensitive areas of the grading system we will be using that day will have to do with proper greetings. When a gentleman meets a lady, what does he do? Looks at her breasts, then looks away very fast. Let me ask the question this way. If you meet a gentleman, will he offer his hand to you, Jamie? No, unless the lady offers her hand first. Very good, Jamie. Kill you. What? Thank you. <laughs> now, men allow women to offer their hands first. Men pull out chairs for women. Men open doors for women. But why? Because men know women are less power than men do. And we want to have sex with them. Ralph! That is unacceptable! You are expelled! But expelled! Mm. Class dismissed! Shh! Sex was not something we were allowed to discuss. But Ralph's parents were progressive. Being progressive didn't help Ralph with Mrs. Mannerly. Shh! Hello, class. Ralph has left us true, but his presence will stay with us and we must soldier on. So today we look at formal silver settings. Jamie, perhaps you could demonstrate for the class the proper arrangement of cutlery using these utensils? South fork, fish fork, milk fork, charger, milk knife, fish knife, sword spoon, soap spoon, chocolate plate, dessert fork, north corner, water glass, wine goblin, bread glass, champagne, flute, coffee cup, and saucer? Which one of you disturbed my silver setting so it wouldn't be perfect? 
bloody guts I went. Jamie, don't be absurd. I'm not absurd. Maybe it was you. Me? You. You changed it. My mother said you wouldn't accept a family like us because of our beliefs. Jamie Hauser, I allow no prejudice to enter my class. If you want to learn and can afford the tuition, you are more than welcome. Whether but you're white, yellow, brown, you gentile, or one of those funny religions. Mrs. Natalie? Zip! <laughs> you interrupted <laughs> Actually, Jamie didn't shoot Mrs. Mannerly. That was just wishful thinking on her part. She did attack her with a tray, though. Thus, I fear I have some bad news. Jamie Hauser has left us, and I hasten to add that it was not because of the events last week that did not occur. Jamie simply did not obey the rules. And now she's dead. I mean, gone. She's gone. But that does not give us the right to tell anyone outside of this classroom. For loyalty, too, is a form of menace. Do we agree, class? Thank you all. Two of you. Class dismissed. Mrs. Mannerly? What are you doing? Packing up. What for? Isn't it obvious? The class is over. Finished. 36 years I've taught this man's class. It was a calling. But how can I teach a class if there isn't any class to teach? I'm gonna have to call up the DAR and tell them there won't be a manners presentation for the first time in 36 years. But this is Mannerly. I'm still here, and Chucky- Oh please, Jeffrey Hatcher, why are you here? I like it here. What? This is Mannerly. If you cancel this class, do you know what I'll have to do with my Wednesdays? I'll have to go to Little League. <gasps> Little League! My father said... I want you to try out again this year. But I told him I didn't want to be a part of something that had everybody calling. Hey, everybody, cover Hatcher. I wanted to be a part of something where I was the best. What do you mean? My dad can build anything. Give him a piece of plywood and a nail file, and he'll make an atom bomb. <sighs> All anyone ever said about me was how polite I was. I see. Mrs. Mannerly, if you cancel this class, you would have shown weakness, and that'll make people talk. You need us to go for that perfect score. Jeffrey Hatcher, you want to be the best mannered, most polite boy in the history of Mrs. Mannerly's manners class? You bet! Right, then give me three lapel formal napkin folds with a vertical peak. In the next three weeks, all three of us met every day, mornings and after school. I opened doors for old women, young women, men. I even opened doors for men who opened doors for a living. Until finally, it was the day of the presentation. Shh. Sorry, Sorry Master Chucky. Chucky, that is incorrect. Jeffrey, don't worry, Mrs. Mannerly, I'll make you proud. I already am proud. Next, next question, question. you next enter a party and find yourself introduced to two young ladies. One is attractive, the other is not. Which do you speak to first? The ugly one. The pretty one already knows she's pretty. Correct. Correct. Next. Yes. Correct. Correct. Next. No. Correct. Correct. Next. Yes. Correct. Correct. Next. Pink! Shh! Mrs. Mannerly? What are you doing? I'm leaving. Huh? Already got my ticket. I'm going to Florida. Tell me, when you did what you did at the DAR, how did you feel? Great. Then maybe you might want to get your ticket too. To where? Down here. You know what good man is all about? Not being noticed. Doing everything in your power so as not to draw attention. Somehow that just doesn't seem your style. You're a good boy. Or weird head. Or what? You're only a quarter. Anyone I talked to from back home always told me that there was something just a little bit mysterious about <clears throat> Helen. They just couldn't pinpoint what. Later, Mrs. Mannerly, I found out she died. Manners classes went out style in the 60s. They're back now, though. They have websites and flyers and are taught by women who used to be airline hostesses. Me? Well, I guess you don't need a manners class when it's in your blood. Thank you, Mrs. Mannerly. 
Class dismissed. Nine fifty nine.